Hi, Fenvale families. It's Mrs. DeRue again. Hey, I have a new story for you today. It's called The Very Last Castle. Hmm. Looking at the outside, I wonder what this story might be about. The Very Last Castle. In the middle of a small town stood something you might not expect. A castle. That would be very unique, wouldn't it? It was, in fact, the very last castle. There had been others, but over time they had all been taken down, or fallen apart, or even been destroyed. All but one. For reasons no one could remember, no one ever came out. And no one was allowed in. So here's the castle. Nobody can come out of it, and nobody's allowed into it. I wonder why it's still there. Up in the tower, the guard watched the townspeople silently pass by. So here's the tower and just watching all the people go past. And then there was Ib. Hmm. I wonder what she has to do with the castle. Every day she walked past the castle all along. Every day she stopped. She looked up. She saw the lone guard standing stone still. So she goes past that castle every day. Plunk. The guard watches her too. Since no one had been inside the castle, the townspeople had an idea about who or what was in there. Snap, snap, snap. Monsters, said Miss Wick. Do you think monsters live in that castle? Hmm. I'm curious. Thud, thud, thud. Giant, said Alex. I wonder if giants live in that castle. What do you think lives in the castle? Snakes, said Ib's grandfather. Oh, I would stay away if there were snakes in there for sure. Maybe it's something terrible, Ib thought one day, but maybe it's something else. Plunk. Hmm. I wonder what it really is. The next morning, Ib walked past the castle. She stopped and looked up at the tower. No guard. Ib had an idea. She floated across the moat, walked up to the door, and with all the strength she had, knock, knock, knock. Ooh, would you do that to a castle you didn't know what was in? I don't know if that's such a good idea, Ib. Yes! Oh no, snakes! I guess we know what's in the castle now. Ib didn't stop running until she was sitting at her desk at school, scared and out of breath. Maybe Grandpa was right. She didn't tell anyone what had happened. Not long after, an envelope arrived and inside was an invitation. Your presence is requested at the front gate of the castle on Sunday at noon. Should she go? I'd be a little scared. Everyone told Ib to stay away. Monster, said Miss Wick. Giant, said Alex. Snakes, said her grandfather. Maybe it's something terrible, Ib thought. But it could be something else. What do you think? On Sunday, Ib stood all alone outside the front gate. With a loud thunk, the drawbridge began to lower. She trembled, and she looked over up at the tower. It was empty. She took a deep breath. Slowly, Ib did something none of the townspeople had ever done. She walked inside. She's pretty brave. It turned out Miss Wicks and Alex had been right. There were monsters and there were giants, but no snakes. Those are kind of cool monsters and giants. Welcome, came a voice, a kind voice. It was the guard. He removed his helmet, 
He was much older than Ib had expected. I'm the last one left. May I show you around? So that's who lives in the castle. For the rest of the day, Ib and the guard, his name was William, visited every quarter of the castle. Before long, they were pruning near the great hall, snip, 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 and harvesting by the palace, thud, thud, thud. Do those sound like sounds that we heard earlier? Snip, snap, snap, thud, thud, thud. Hmm. They ended up where they had started. Why now, asked Ib. All the other castles are gone, answered William. Someday I will be too, and I want someone brave to take my place. Someone curious. Will you help me? Ib thought about William all on his own. She thought about her family and friends outside the castle. She thought, and then she knew. Yes, Ib replied, but I have a request. What do you think her request is going to be? In the middle of the small town stood a very last castle. Sometimes someone came out. That's different from the beginning of the story. Now someone comes out. And everyone is welcome in. Ah, the hiss is him watering the flowers. And that's the end. I hope you had a great time listening to our story. And today's challenge is for you to draw a very detailed map of your favorite room in your house. Hope you have a great day. Bye guys, we miss you.